Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new speed test. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Infinix 020 versus the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. And the A53 5G is powered by Samsung Exynos 1280 SoC with 8 GP of RAM, while the Infinix 020 is powered by MediaTek Helio G99 SoC with 8 GP of RAM as well. On the back, we have quad cameras on the Samsung versus a triple cameras. On the Infinix, we have 64 megapixel optical image separation mean camera with a 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro, and a 5 megapixel depth sensor. This phone also has a IP67 water and dust resistance. While on the another hand, 020 has a 108 megapixel main camera with a 13 megapixel ultra wide. Also, we have 2 megapixel, which is a depth sensor. And the back on both phones is made up of plastic. And the frame I feel on the 020 is made up of aluminium while the Samsung has a plastic frame and the frame of the 020 is completely flat and you can see which gives a more premium feel over the Galaxy A53 5G. On the bottom we have headphone jack on the Infinix that's a big advantage on the 020. Both phones has a dual speaker so I am really really excited to see that how is the G99 is gonna stack up against the Samsung Exynos 1280. So without any wasting time let's see which one is faster. So now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. I am doing a speed test after a month almost. Uh, the Galaxy A53 5G is running on Android 13 with Samsung One UI 5. One UI 5 update is available for the Galaxy A53. 020 on the other hand running on Android 12 with XOS version 12. So 020 is faster when it comes to booting up with the Galaxy A53 5G when it comes to booting up. Now the A53 5G also done. We have 4 or 5 second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up. Now let's talk about the display. On the Infinix, we have 6.7 inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 90 Hz refresh rate. Also, we have U shaped notch. And you can see while the Samsung has a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display with 120 Hz refresh rate. Also, we have punch hole on the Samsung, which is which is really really small. And the bottom chain and the bezels around the display it is much smaller on the Galaxy A53 5G. Also, the A55 g is a more expensive phone than the Infinix 020 here in Pakistan. But I want to see the difference between the G99 versus the Exynos 1280. So everything's closed up in the background. No application is running in the background. And the Samsung is running on Android 13. That's really interesting. So now let's see phone dialer. That is faster on the Samsung. Again, we have different animation on both phones. So now let's open settings again faster on the Samsung. Now let's go to the display section. So we have 120 Hertz refresh rate versus in 90 Hertz. I select on auto. Let's see how is the auto option works on the 020. So now check out some more application. Now let's start off with the Amazon shopping with same Wi-Fi network. So the Samsung is a tiny bit faster as you can see. So now let's see the scrolling and that is phase smoother on the samsung yes with their 120 hertz refresh rate so now let's open this and that one is very similar and scrolling wise huge difference between 120 hertz and 90 hertz i feel that it is on 90 hertz yes it is now check out some games application let's start off with the candy crush saga Exynos 1280 versus Helio G9. So the Samsung is a tiny bit faster, about half a second difference. Let me show the speakers. First on the Samsung. Here's the Samsung looks like with max volume. Very good speakers. Here is the 020. And the 020 dual speakers does not have a lot of bass but overall the speakers it is much better on the Samsung Instagram that is faster on the Samsung let's see pin out again faster on the Samsung again let's see snapchat faster on the Samsung let's see Spotify 
Spotify is faster on the 020 less subwoofer so the subwoofer is tiny bit faster on the Samsung Galaxy A53 so now let's see temper and 2 let's see in that game how much difference again the Galaxy A53 5G is a tiny bit faster but the difference it is I would say really really small Samsung is a tiny bit faster it is it is a draw almost I would say so now let's see PUBG Mobile heavy game Exynos 1280 Helio G99 so both phones is open the game at the same time that's really surprising also in that game we have smooth graphics with ultra frame rate on both phones no 60 fps even on the samsung now let's opening up the twitter that one is faster on the samsung let's open zedge that one is very similar scrolling wise i see little app is drop on the 020 in the start while the samsung it is all the time on 120 hertz so last time i'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application let's see which one is open the camera faster so the samsung is faster and the cam performance it is much better on the samsung now let's look at the front facing camera so here is the front facing camera looks like on the samsung we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera while on the 020 we have 60 megapixel optical image stabilization samsung is much better in terms of the colors in terms of the exposure everything now check out internet browsing speed i am using the for samsung internet browser versus a google chrome on the 020 wikipedia.org samsung is a tiny bit faster let's see the scrolling and scrolling it is smoother on the samsung it seems like auto option it is not working so now let's go back and now let's go settings now let's go display and now let's go auto to 90 hertz all the time let's see now the scrolling yes the auto option it is not only really optimized on this phone so now i will be using all the time 90 hertz mode so now let's open this and now the scrolling it is much better now the difference between 90 hertz and 120 hertz it is not really big but if I see very very closely yes I can see the difference so now let's see apple.com next website so the Samsung or the 020 both phones at the end Samsung is faster let's see the scrolling again scrolling is pretty smooth on both phones but trying to be smoother if I scrolling a little bit faster Samsung in that area is smoother so now check out RAM image man and you can see little jitters so let's see who is performed good in the RAM image man we have a lot of application let's see how the A53 5G is current performing after updating to Android 13 phone dialer settings Amazon shopping let's see Candy Crush Saga no refresh Instagram let's see pin out Snapchat Spotify Subwoofer temper and 2 let's see pubg mobile opening up the twitter no refresh zedge wallpaper application last way back to the internet browser which is also still there so guys overall to say regarding the apps opening speed as you can see that samsung galaxy a53 5g overall is performing a tiny bit faster overall than the Infinix 020 yes the Infinix it is not a stable phone overall while the Samsung is overall much stable much smoother than the Infinix 020 also we have Android 13 versus Android 12 and in the future A53 5G will also get Android 14 Android 15 and Android 16 at the end and the performance gap it is not really big between these devices in terms of the RAM device in that area both phones is performing incredible in the RAM image man not a single refresh on both phones after updating to Android 13 so that's really good thing optimization it is still really really good also we have 5000 mAh battery size with a 25 watt fast charging support no charger in the box 
while the Zero 20 has a 4500 mAh battery size with a 45 watt fast charging support. Yes, in the box, we also get a 45 watt fast charger. That's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test. I hope you like this video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.